To have a safe and secure internet connection these days, I don't leave home without this little guy. Let's check it out. Hi, this is David of Tech for Baba. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing if you like useful tech for the family like me. In today's video, let's unbox and check out the GL-MT3000 or a much simpler name, Barrel AX Pocket Travel Router. I'll highlight a few of its many features and share how I use it mostly and why I take it with me everywhere. The Barrel AX came in a shrink wrap box. The cover sleeve has the router printed on top. Under the sleeve is a plain white box. Inside the box, there is a thank you card with a 10% coupon code for the next purchase on the geo.inet store. A quick start guide in just a couple of sheets. Inside the smaller box beside the router, Ah, there's a white flat ethernet cable. Compact and good for traveling. Power plug converters for various countries. A white power adapter. It has an USB-C connector, which is very convenient. Last but not least, there's the router in a soft plastic bag. Hmm, it's smaller than I expected. Feels solid and I like this pastel gray blue color. Looking at the router in more detail, it is small and compact, measuring just about 4.5 inches by a bit over 3 inches and one and a quarter inch thick. Weights about 7 ounces, just under 200 grams. Here it is compared to my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Very easy to take along to a cafe or when we travel. It has rounded and smooth edges. In the front, there is an indicator light. On the top, there's a small Geo iNet logo. In the back, there's an USB-C port for power, a 2.5 gigabit ethernet WAN port, which can be configured as a gigabit ethernet LAN port, another gigabit ethernet LAN port, and an USB 3.0 port for sharing an USB device like a hard drive on the network. Too bad it's not a faster, newer USB port. There are two foldable antennas, one on each side that could be folded up to extend the Wi-Fi range. Under one of them, there's a small reset button and a customizable switch to turn on and off certain features which we'll go over in a bit. There are vents on the sides and all over the bottom for venting. There's actually a fan inside this little router too, probably due to the hotter Wi-Fi 6 chip. In my months of using it though, the fan hasn't come on much. Only a few times when I was really stressed testing the Wi-Fi 6 connection. And it's not loud. There are also four little rubber feet on the bottom to keep the barrel stable on the table. Let's plug it in and hook it up to see how it operates. Since it has a USB-C power port, I can use the supply power adapter or just any 5 volt free amp or above USB-C power supply. In a pinch, I was even able to power it up from the USB-C port on my 16-inch MacBook Pro. Here I have the barrel connected to its USB-C charger and the Ethernet LAN port connected to an Ethernet to USB-C adapter into my MacBook Pro. Like the other GLI Net routers, the barrel's firmware is based on an open source OpenWRT. I'm quite impressed by GLI Net's implementation of it. The barrel is full of features, yet relatively straightforward to set up. The default IP address is 192.168.8.1. Once logged in, we're presented with a very clear graphical summary of the router. You can see the barrel GL-MT3000 picture in the middle. On the left are four ways the barrel can be connected to the internet. Via the ethernet connection, as a repeater of another Wi-Fi network, tethering to a phone hotspot, for example, and with a cellular connection like a cellular modem. To the right are Barrel's network clients, wireless ones on the top and physical Ethernet LAN ones on the bottom. Below Barrel's icon are indicators for EdGuard, IPv6, VPN, and Tor. On the bottom, there are indicators for various Wi-Fi connections. 
main 5G and 2.4G Wi-Fi connections, and guest 5G and 2.4G Wi-Fi's. The enable connections and features are highlighted in a bright blue color. It's a great summary of the state of the router. Very easy to see. On the left, there are clear menu items to configure the router. If you'd like me to go into the details on another video, let me know in the comment section below. I'll just highlight a couple of cool features. The barrel can connect to the internet in multiple ways as mentioned. Say I have the repeater connected to the Wi-Fi and tethering connected to my iPhone's hotspot. I can choose either to load balance between the two or set up a failover priority for redundancy. Pretty big feature for such a small router. The other cool feature I use most of the time is AdGuard. It does a great job minimizing all the pop-up ads that i much rather not see. Under toggle button settings, that switch under the antenna can be set to do nothing or toggle AdGuard, OpenVPN client, Tor, or Wingard client on and off. When we travel, as soon as I connect the barrel to the hotel's or Airbnb's Wi-Fi connection, or our devices, my wives, my kids, which have already connected to Barrel's Wi-Fi SSIDs before, immediately has secure internet service without another setup. In addition, this little router comes in very handy when a hotel restricts its internet connection to just one or two devices. Our family's boatload of devices like the wife and kids' iPad, iPhones, laptops, even the Nintendo Switch all connect through the barrel, which counts only as one device to the hotel. Here's a snapshot of what we had on a recent trip to Hawaii. I have the router in the repeater mode connected to the hotel's Wi-Fi network, ResortNet 2, even though the hotel only allows two devices to connect. We have seven wireless clients and one wire LAN device all connected through this one little router as the only one device of the two devices allowed. For just $120, the Barrel AX is really a little giant. There are additional discounts often in the link I'll put in the description below. There's a $20 off coupon currently, for example. The Barrel AX is small, perfect for traveling far or a trip to the cafe. And it's packed with features such as Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gig Ethernet, VPN, WireGuard, and EdGuard. Its antennas may not be powerful enough to reach every corner of a huge house, but it's more than adequate for a hotel room or a small Airbnb. This little router is so packed with features and so convenient to use that I use it at home as a secondary router too. If you and your family want to surf the web with security and convenience when traveling like me, check the Barrel AX out. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and check out this video next. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.